Well, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to another one of our Mind Stumps World of Tanks Xbox 360 replay videos. We're in the Conqueror. We're on El Haloof. And, uh, we're gonna have a decent game. Could have been better, but you'll see towards the end. Uh, this has happened to me a few times. And it drives me insane when it does, and I don't get it. But, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about now in a few minutes here. We're going to push over where the heavies should be pushing. Uh, sorry for running into you, dude. Thought we'd clear, but apparently not. And uh, we're going to push over on the hill. We've got two artilleries, they've got one. Um, who's going to end up being a pest? Not completely his fault, but we are in a tier 9 game. So I always like being in the Conqueror in a tier 9 because you're always at the top of the list, makes you feel better. On the other hand, when I play my T-43 in Tier 7, I I don't care if there's all baby Tier 7s in it. I'm always at the bottom of the list. <laughs> Makes you feel bad. <laughs> Although, in my T-43, I seem to get Tier 9 games more often than not, which just sucks in that tank. But that's another video. We're going to keep pushing. Oh, we get spotted. I try to do a snapshot. Use auto-aim. And, of course, the terrain trolls me. I wonder if the terrain really does that. I mean, I know your tank bobs up and down, but it always seems like it bobs up and down at just the perfect time. You'll see another version of that here in a couple minutes when we get up top. I'm going to aim at a tank and just so happens the tank just drops as I fire. Maybe my old age, I just uh, have a slow trigger finger. That's probably it, actually. And again, if the maps were all flat, then it would be boring, wouldn't it? So I'm going to push up here. That T-71's still poking up. I never played the T-71. I completely skipped it. I hate light tanks. And even though it's an autoloader, a light tank at that tier, you know, playing with tier 9s and stuff, I just, uh, never got into it. And that's why right there. One shot and half his health is gone. Or just about. Now if I had been a big gun, he would have been pretty much dead. Then again, if I was a big gun like the T-30 or something, I probably wouldn't have hit that shot. This gun and this fully upgraded Conqueror. I don't know why people give the Conqueror a bad rap. It's a mean tank. I think it's my favorite tank to play at Tier 9. I like the 103. Uh, the Conqueror is night and day better than the crap ISA. We tried to throw another quick snapshot at the T-71 and miss. Uh, one of the ballsy ones pulls out and takes my track out, but that's okay. I've got repair and everything on this, so. We're going to pull up, and I don't understand this guy. Sitting sideways. I IS-6 has somewhat okay armor. But not at that angle. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He just wants to die, I guess. And I'm just going to pull up and take a shot out of him every couple seconds until he's dead. And I reload quicker than the T-29 apparently beside me. And I'll finish him off, so. Yeah, this gun. Fast reload. Great accuracy. Um, you might not have the ultimate armor, but I think the people that complain about the armor being horrible on this are people that come out of German tanks. It's something I've realized. As the artillery hits me and knocks half of my health out almost. Uh, great time for that to happen when I was talking about the armor, huh? But, uh, one of the things about this is the M103 doesn't have great armor either. And the IS-8 doesn't have even good armor. So when people say, oh, here's a miss, that was my late trigger finger again. When people say this doesn't have armor, I'm like, they have to be running Germans or something where, you know, you can bounce everything. It's the only thing I can come up with because this tank's armor is on par with the 103, and it's definitely better than the IS-6. So, and the gun's much better than either one of those I believe. Now I don't know where that shot came from. 
uh, if you guys want to re oh here's that one I was talking about I come down the hill and oh I wasn't quite loaded that's it I heard it go click alright so that wasn't really my fault I pulled the trigger at the right time I wasn't loaded yet but back to what I was saying that shot on top of the hill if you rewind it I got hit I thought I got hit from behind because I didn't see any shell come at me and then a second later a shell comes at me so I don't know if that was a game having a hiccup having some lag issues if the tracer this begs the question which came first the tracer or the, tracer or the shell I'm pretty sure the tracer is supposed to come after the shell and uh, in that case the uh, shell came and the tracer came like not like close after though it was like way after so it's kinda it had to be lag and I'll tell you why I think it's lag because you'll find out in a couple minutes um, every so often and this never used to happen to me but every so often I end up in La La Land here where I can't control my tank it goes wherever it wants it's going nuts ooh look at this juicy 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 pops up thank you I'll take 400 out of the awful waffle and I'm gonna clarify why I call it the awful waffle I don't call it the awful waffle I mean someone in the platoon asked me why do you call it the awful waffle it's a good tank I don't call it the awful waffle because it's a bad tank I call it the awful waffle it's because it's how I feel when I see one <laughs> uh, when one's aimed at me I hate it so on the, the term awful in that in my statement calling an awful waffle means I fear it I don't I, I don't feel good when I see one but I'm gonna feel good right now because he's dead so uh, yeah we're gonna have someone in a uh, Hellcat I believe decide to come try to bombardier me or something and he gets chomped when he realizes I wasn't down there I think he stopped so he, he was going down that hill thinking yeah yeah and he's like oh shit shit <laughs> dead so back to what I was saying sometimes uh, every once in a while I just lose control of the tank and I usually don't realize it I don't know if I've lost control like I'll be moving and then all of a sudden it'll start turning left and it's like what the hell and then the turret will start going around in circles and it's like a possessed tank and uh, the only thing I can think of is losing connection to the server for a second but I try to watch my connection status up at the top left and I usually don't see it I mean there's times where I see it bob up and down a little bit but I don't think it bobbed up and down in this match at all it's been pretty much five bars and I could be wrong you know, I could have missed it here but uh, we're going to come out here and we're going to see that T-69 come running across and if I was ready for the shot I would like to have taken it but I don't know where that Artie is and the Artie scares me because he's already hit me twice I'm ripe for pickings and oh shit I should have stayed in shot but again that Artie is up in that corner and he's got nothing better to do but to shoot at someone right now so I'm going to back up because I know he's up in that corner and I have a uh, I don't know what that is, an E-75 come flying by me and seeing he's going by me I'm all for it. Ooh, try to take a Coppola shot at the T-29 and it doesn't go that was a spray and pray shot I didn't expect it to go but sometimes I do I already plants one into him and the E-75 finishes him off so now we're at the top of the hill and I'm pretty sure the Artie is up in that corner right up there I've got two tanks up here the E-75 is headed up that way I'm gonna head up there with him and we're gonna see if we can find him I'm gonna slow down here and wait to see if maybe it, the Artie pops up to take a shot again we have two tanks going up there I would have thought by right now he would have proximity proximity spotted because he's up there quite a ways he's not crested the hill yet but geez it's only 20 meters after you crest the hill and he's at the top of the crest so I'm like okay the Artie's not up there he must be over here so I'm gonna fly down over there and see if he's over on this one I didn't expect him to be over on this one because where he was shooting and of course we have someone in in the cab the Tiger with one tank left what is it nine on one 
and I'm on mic saying, come on dude, don't cap. I had to turn my mic on because I'd had it shut off. Because I'd been raging the last few games because I had not shitting you. Once again, I had played for almost three hours, had one win outside of this one in three hours. And I had some decent games, but just the teams just sucked. Just I tend to get on the noob team. I don't know. It's just been the last couple, the last three weeks. It's been really prominent. And we come up here, and one of us should have proximated him by now. So he's not up here either. And right now, I can't control my tank. I'm like, okay. And then I click backwards, and it starts going backwards. You can see my little uh, automatic come on and off, my cruise control. I'm like, okay, stop, stop. It won't stop. It's still going. It won't stop. And I clicked it again, and it stops. So right now I should be moving. My cruise control's on. And I didn't realize it was on at the moment, so I'm just sitting here letting, thinking, okay, I'm going to let it go. Nope, there, it takes off. Now I shut it off because I was like, shit, I didn't want to move. Just, as you can see, my cruise control is not on. I'm going nuts. I'm like, what the hell? Like, ugh. So anyways, they still haven't found the arty. He must be up where they were proximate, trying to spot him up in that corner. I can't help because, still at this point, I can't control my tank. I'm going to stop. Start turning around. Nope. Still going the other way. And if this has ever happened to you, you don't know when to stop. I mean, because you hit stop and you don't stop, so you're like, uh, and is my cruise control on? Is it off? Okay, it's off. Alright, now let's start moving again. And here's where I can actually move and control my tank again. <laughs> I don't know if it ha ever happens to anyone else, but uh, every so often my tank just goes nuts. All right, now we have a tank going up in the corner again, and sure enough, there's the Artie. Now I don't know how the first guy that went up there didn't spot him. I, I don't get it, but you know, either or. Of course, we have a noob capping again, and we'll see who the noob is at the end. We uh, I'll. I'll bet you a million dollars, I mean I already know, but I bet you a million dollars that most people here can guess too. Without even pointing out names, in general, it's usually the, the worst player on the team. Who has done absolutely nothing. Who has sat back and just sat in base and did nothing, then once the tanks get down to nothing, they run for their cap. So, yeah. Once again, that's who it is on this game. But, uh, it is what it is. You always have noobs. See that Jonah Hex? He's the one that capped. Bottom of the list. Absolutely nothing. I thought it was a Tiger 2 capping, but it wasn't. Tiger 2 had capped for a minute there, but there we go right there. Ten shots, five hits, one penetration. Zero damage. Done. It's pathetic. But anyway, we ended up with three kills. 2,700. I'm going to go uh, submit a uh, review and, a, and oh no I don't, <laughs> yeah. I recorded a uh, little message to him, I said you know, it's always the ones that do nothing during the game that cap, so I hope he enjoys that, <laughs> I mean I didn't rage or anything, I just said you know, it doesn't surprise me you having done nothing all game with the one that capped. Then I go to avoid this player because I just can't. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but I just can't deal with it. It bugs me. So yeah, we're going to go back up. We end up with 2,732 damage dealt, 3 kills, 339 uh, spotting. So it was, a, it was a decent game overall. And uh, 1,400 damage received, 2,700 dealt, so... 13 shots, 8 hits, 8 penetrations. So everyone that hit penetrated. So you know, the Conqueror has a decent gun, really it does. And it's got good enough armor. Um, I would play the Conqueror any day, every day, before I would the IS-8. So anyone deciding which line to go up, the grind for the Conqueror and the Carnarvon and stuff is a little worse, I think. But it's just such a better tank, in my opinion. Maybe it's my playstyle. I don't know. My opinion, the IS-8 is crap. It can't do anything good. This tank right here can snipe. It can get front line as long as you're careful. And it can be a support tank. And yeah, as usual, 
comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, tell me what I did right and tell me what I did wrong, and uh, when you're on that